Hey, hello there. This is a small tutorial of how to set up the stitch generator and also the zipper generator. So I got a quite some questions of what is the easiest way to apply it to your model. So I have set up a little startup file with Suzanne and we're going to import the uh, stitches. And there are actually multiple ways to do that. Uh, how I do it on Windows is that I just open my stitches. Uh, this is what you have when you open the file. You select one of the stitches. You do Command C, then go to your file and Command V to copy it. So if I move Suzanne out of the way a little bit, uh, what I then do is with Shift select the big ball and then Command J to join them. And if I now these the my mesh and the ball are the same uh, object. When I select my stitch and I go into edit mode with tab and then select the draw tool. And this is very important to click surface. So it knows that it's drawing on the surface. If I draw now, you see that they appear on my model. And then I can start giving Suzanne some stitches. So uh, Suzanne is really um, a low subdivisions, so you can add subdivisions to uh, get rid of these intersections. So subdivide. You see that it becomes much cleaner and the stitches find their way around the model a little bit better. This way, uh, you should be able to easily put stitches on your models. Also, sometimes when they still intersect a little bit, you can up the stitch distance. When I do 0, 0, 2, you see that they work much better. So that's one way to do it. But you can also go, for example, into File, Append and then go to stitches and select the stitches blend file that you get object and then when you select one of the curves one to five it will also import the ball and the stitches so i think on a mac you cannot easily open two blend files this way so then i would do it with append so make sure that when you draw, that it's on the surface. If you put cursor and you draw on your model, they won't appear. They will end up somewhere else and try to stick it on your model, uh, but it won't appear where you draw exactly. So what I usually do when I work with the stitch generator, I use the pen first, the draw, draw a little bit, surface so when I draw a little bit it generates some points and then with the magnet and face projection I can with G grab the points and start modeling it a little bit more with S I can scale the handles or grab one with G then with E, I can extrude a point, rotate it, just put them exactly where I want. And this way it becomes very easy to give your model some stitches. Maybe make them a little bit smaller, make it look a bit more realistic. Um, maybe have a little bit lower distance. And this way you can be very accurate where you place the stitches with the draw tool and the pen tool. If we want to do the same thing with the other uh, setup, with the vertex group setup, we can also just select the ball and command C, go into our file with our own mesh, command V, here we have both meshes, my mesh and the ball. First select the monkey for your mesh and then select the ball 
and then with command J we will join them together. Now you see that they are one thing and you see here this is the vertex group where it gets the vertices to place the stitches so when I go into the vertex group this is another one that I'm not using at the moment. We go to group, select mesh, Select some edge loop. So when we go here, then assign it. Then we see the stitches appear. So this is also a very easy way to follow an edge loop and add stitches there. So I hope this helps you out. And you notice this becomes really easy uh, to apply these stitches to a I hope this is very useful for you.